Morning everyone, it's great to see you. This is actually going to be our last online Sunday School session because next week we're actually going to be meeting together as church. Um, hooray! Becky is going to be teaching you about a very important man in the Old Testament called Moses and today I'm going to introduce you to him. And Moses' story begins long before he was even born. If you re remember way back to Abraham, remember how God promised he would bless Abraham? Well, he did indeed bless Abraham's family. And it was all rather miraculous. Abraham and Sarah were very old and yet God blessed them with Isaac. And then the way that God provided for Isaac's son, Jacob and his 12 sons was miraculous. God brought Jacob and his sons to Egypt when, when there was no food in their own country. And they settled there and Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, had given them some of the best land uh, because do you remember Jacob's son Joseph had miraculously been made second uh, in command of the whole of Egypt. So their family had prospered and grown. And uh, eventually Jacob and all of his sons died but their children and their children and their children after them, they continued to grow and they grew to be a large nation just as, as God had promised to Abraham. And they were known as the nation of Israelites, the people of Israel. Um, and at first, the Israelites were treated well in Egypt, but after many years, a new man, a, a new Pharaoh, one who didn't know of Joseph and all that he had done, he became uh, king of Egypt and he became afraid of this large nation and he thought that the Israelites would eventually overpower him so he decided to make them very weak by turning them into slaves working them very hard getting them to make bricks and build his cities but still the Israelite people continued to grow larger and stronger but Pharaoh then came up with an evil plan. Pharaoh's plan was to have all the Hebrew baby boys killed. If there were no baby boys, they wouldn't grow into strong men who could take over Egypt. Well, that was Pharaoh's way of thinking. But you know, our God, he's bigger than Pharaoh and he's stronger. And though many Israelite babies died because of this plan, one mother named Jochebed whose baby was Moses, she decided she could not let her baby die. She believed that God would help her think of a plan to save him. And she hid him for three months until he became too big to hide. Then she made a basket out of reeds from the River Nile and she filled all the cracks with tar so that water wouldn't get in and that it would float so this basket would float. And she put Moses in the basket and in among the reeds in the river. And the baby's sister, Miriam, watched from a distance to check that no harm would come to him. Well, let's get our Bibles out and let's read from Exodus 2, from chap uh, Exodus chapter 2, from verse 5. And let's find out what happened next. This is again just so miraculous how God provides, listen to how God provided and protected Moses. Then Pharaoh's daughter went down to the Nile to bathe and her attendants were walking along the riverbank. She saw the basket among the reeds and sent her slave girl to get it. She opened it and saw the baby. He was crying and she felt sorry for him. This is one of the Hebrew babies, she said. Then his sister, Miriam, asked Pharaoh's daughter, shall I go and get one of the Hebrew women to nurse the baby for you? Yes, go, she answered. And the girl went and got, who? The baby's mother. Pharaoh's daughter said to her, Take this baby and nurse him for me and I will pay you. So the woman took the baby and nursed him. When the child grew older, she took him to Pharaoh's daughter and he became her son. She named him Moses. 
saying, I drew him out of the water. Wow. It just seems almost impossible, doesn't it? Pharaoh had, Pharaoh had issued a decree to say that all baby boys were to be killed and yet Moses survived. God had divinely protected this baby who would grow up to be the deliverer of his people. God saved him from all the dangers in the river. God caused Pharaoh's daughter to have compassion on him and save his life. And God, in his kindness, he even allowed for Moses' real mother to care and look after him for those precious early years, for, for him to then be raised as a prince in the palace. And you know, one day the Lord would use Moses to help his people leave Egypt and go to their own land. It is just all incredibly miraculous. And this is so similar to how God divinely protected Jesus as a baby. Do you remember when Jesus was born, Herod ordered all the baby boys uh, in Bethlehem to be killed, and yet Jesus was protected to save all people, to, to, to deliver all people, just as Moses was saved to deliver the people of Israel then. And you know, we are a lot like baby Moses. We might not be babies, but we're just as helpless to save ourselves. Just like Moses floated down the river in that reed basket, Moses needed God to save him from Pharaoh. And we need God to save us from our sin. We are totally dependent on God to save us. We are totally dependent on God to set us free from that sin in our hearts. And he did that, didn't he, when he sent Jesus to die on the cross, to take the punishment that our sins deserve. And now when we confess, when we repent and say sorry for those sins that we've done, we are forgiven. And just like God saved Moses, God saves us and we can trust him to protect us. Shall I pray for us? Lord God, thank you so much for your word, that it is truth, that it is so relevant to us. Thank you for the life of Moses and for how you had good plans for him, how you protected him. And Lord, thank you that you have good plans for our lives. Thank you that you protect us. Thank you that you save us from our sin. It, that is all just so miraculous. Let I pray would help us to understand this wonderful uh, story of Moses and how you used him to save your people. And Lord, I thank you so much that we get to meet together again next week. I pray that you would be preparing us for that, that joyful time next week. In Jesus' name. Amen. So Thank you so much for joining us for Sunday School Online these past few months and we'll so look forward to seeing you next week as Becky tells you more about the life of Moses. Bye.